Right now, the hungriest time of the year for bears across East Tennessee. That is because they are getting ready to sleep through the winter. It's also why right now they are in a competition to try to beef up. WATE 6 on your side reporter Lexi Spivak is here to explain the Chubby Cubby Chalk Down <laughs> Contest. Lexi, Who's in the lead right now? Yeah, so I got the latest results. This is Barley and Hops right behind me. There's one off in the corner there playing, but Hops is in the lead right now for this social media contest through the Appalachian Bear Rescue. But there's a serious reason that they're doing this. They have to get these cubs ready for release into the wild. Beefing up is something that bears across the Smoky Mountains are doing right now. It's another reason you have to be extra cautious if you're taking a hike anytime soon. Eight contestants, but there will only be one champion. Hops, Cheers, Barley, Bourbon, India, Lemon Drop, Prost, and Cosmo. They're all eating and feasting before they join the rest of Bear Country next month. We don't get to actually know the true weights of the Cubs until their time of release. Victoria Ribel is an assistant curator with the Appalachian Bear Rescue. She says while the contest is just for fun, the bears gaining some weight is crucial this time of year. Genes and the hormones in their body that would tell them that they're full are turned off this time of year. So they can just keep eating and eating. Ribel says bears in the mountains are eating more than 20 20,000 calories a day. She also describes them as opportunistic. So if they run into you on the trail, they see it as a way to get some easy calories, but not in the way you might think. Probably if you run into a bear on a trail, most likely they're not viewing you or your dog as, a, as an actual food item. But as a lot of you know, Great Smoky Mountains National Park is visited heavily. And so unfortunately, a lot of those bears have learned that people mean food, not necessarily that people are food, but people carry food and people have food. Rival gave us her top tip if you do run into a bear. The most important thing is to is to make noise. Um, you want to appear bigger than that bear. You want them to know that you're sort of the boss, if you will. She says in most cases that will scare a bear off. You could also hike with a friend, play music, or get bear bells or spray. And if a bear does chase you... But if a bear is actually attacking you, a black bear in the Great Smoky Mountains, um, the advice from most all wildlife managers will be to fight back. So as these eight little cubs compete for the crown, their overall competition is much bigger than that. Life out in the Great Smokies. All right, now you can vote in the Chubby Cubby Chonk Down uh, with the Appalachian Bears Rescue Facebook and Instagram pages. Just go to their stories, and we do have a look at their bracket uh, coming up soon, and this is what you see when you go to their stories. Uh, remember, though, you're voting which cub you think is the chubbiest, not the cutest. I know it's tough to do, though. They will move into the next round tomorrow, and then the winner will be announced Wednesday. We have a link to their Facebook page in this story on our website, WATE.com. Was it Chubby Cubby Chalk Down? Yeah, it's been a tough one today. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the Cubs, by the way, will be released into the wild next month. At that point, as you heard, they will weigh them to see who the true winner is. And, of course, we'll keep you updated.